use the um, polygon lasso tool. And I'm going to select my area out. And once the area is selected, I just hit my delete key on the keyboard and erase that drop shadow there and you see how immediately it's disappeared. Now since I am going to add a separate um, shadow to this, since I already have it selected, I'm going to click on my image layer and right click on the mouse. I think it's right click. I'm using the tablet so I'm not sure. Um, right click on your mouse and bring up this uh, dialog box and we're going to say you could say duplicate layer but actually I'm going to right click here where my selection is and I'm going to say layer via cut that has now as you can see cut that image away from the original and paste it onto a new layer okay I'm going to now go once again to my layer ones drop shadow as it's named itself you can rename it if you like and I'm gonna select around this photograph here once it's selected I'm going to once again hit delete on my keyboard and now you can see it's actually sitting flush to the page where I would like it to but on the outer edges it's still appearing to be floating and once again I'm going to go back to the original layer and I'm going to come over here to my photograph area and I'm going to right click or click with my pen tab and I'm going to say once again layer via copy this time I'm going to use copy instead of cut because sometimes when you do layer via cut it may slightly move your selection and cause like an open space and I don't want that line to appear where I've cut into the frame so I'm going to do layer via copy and because it's only a portion of my frame and I'm going to add a drop shadow to this I'm going to move it beneath the original image now I'm going to go in double click once again on this layer open up my uh, style palette and I'm going to add a drop shadow and now you can see it's just a mild drop shadow but I think I'm going to change the um, direction of my shadow here now you'll notice that global light is ticked use global light that's always checked if you're going to change direction of your shadow but you have other drop shadows applied to your image you want to uncheck that because otherwise it's going to move every shadow layer that you have into the direction that you're choosing now since my shadow is on another layer, I technically don't have that, but I'm going to uncheck it anyway. And I'm going to come over here and move this shadow where I might like it to be. I like it a little more even. So that looks good to me. Maybe lower the opacity and the softness by the size. I'm going to adjust that just a little bit more and I think it looks perfect so I'm going to click OK now this shadow is very good for what I want to have here it's probably going to work just as well for my little beads so I'm going to come over here right click now you'll notice that I'm right clicking where the little F is I guess for it looks like flash but it's opening up a different um, palette than what we did had when we clicked on the little arrow here so you click on the little F and you'll see a new selection coming out and now what we're going to do is we're going to say copy layer style this is going to save me a lot of time because now all I'm going to do is go right up here to my beads layer right click again 
and now I'm going to paste my layer stop. That's it. We have now successfully completed our drop shadow. I'm sure you'll find that working with drop shadows is probably one of the easiest ways to give your layouts drama and dimension with very little effort. This has been Veronica Spriggs and I've got my eye on design.